The dairy industry has been declining sharply over the past couple years. Most people don't know about this. In fact, you would think the opposite considering how vegans are acting like everyone is sucking down a glass of milk every morning. In reality, it's probably almond milk. Dairy farmers face crisis as milk consumption and prices decline. Wisconsin has one quarter of the dairy farms it had just 25 years ago. In New York State, 1,600 dairy farms went out of business from 2006 to 2016. 3,000 U.S. dairy farms closed in 2018. America's largest dairy producer files for bankruptcy. Best advice to U.S. dairy farmers, sell out as fast as you can. It's not just American dairy farmers that are suffering though. These big corporations in control of our food supply are trying to put all small farmers out of business. While all of these dairy farms are closing and the supermarkets are struggling to sell this low quality milk, for several dollars a gallon, Organic Pastures, a California-based raw dairy company, is thriving and they're making a ton of money. I bet you they're selling raw milk for $10, $15 a gallon because raw dairy is legal in California. And when people have quality product, it speaks for itself and they're willing to pay that much. Propaganda-style advertising isn't necessary. Now, I only watch TV for an hour or two per week whenever I'm sitting down and eating my meals, but I noticed several commercials for milk just in the span of a half an hour the other day. So the dairy industry is certainly aware of this crisis and trying to battle it. Unfortunately, I think I've been chasing time for better. as long as I can remember. Chocolate milk for athletes? I think this campaign has been going for several years now, and they're not getting the hint that it isn't working. Maybe they should pay Frankie Boy a few dollars and get the Roman statue on TV. I mean, people associate chocolate milk with something kids want as a treat, not exactly something healthy or for athletic performance. That being said, I made a healthy hot chocolate recipe with raw milk and raw cacao several months ago. And that is an example of something healthy. Unfortunately, this commercial dairy doesn't meet that quality. Now, they aren't just advertising chocolate milk. Here is a good example of how out of touch these companies are in their marketing. These dairy companies, in a way, have dug their own grave. And the other processed food companies are repackaging their foods into vegan, plant-based, for the environment. But these dairy producers don't really have a similar option. They have a poor quality product that makes people feel like crap. They feed the animals soy and corn, pump them full of antibiotics, and the corresponding dairy products made from that milk not only make you feel like crap, they taste like crap, they have no nutrition, are full of the chemicals and antibiotics that were fed to the animal. It's an interesting contrast. The milk most American dairy farmers are producing is bad for you, whereas truly grass-fed dairy is one of the healthiest things you can consume. There was even the A2 milk campaign, A2 casein being easier on digestion than the A1 casein typically found in cow's milk. For years, I thought I was lactose intolerant. Turns out I was just sensitive to a protein commonly found in milk. Now with A2 milk, I can finally enjoy cereal again. It's delicious like real milk, because it is real milk. A2 milk is real milk from real cows that produce only the A2 protein. I forgot what real milk tasted like. It was amazing. My first latte in 12 years. It's totally natural, and having only the A2 protein makes all the difference. It's the way milk was meant to be. I love milk again, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, cereal, smoothies, coffee, everything, I missed it. <laughs> I love 
milk. <laughs> I'm so happy I found it. A2 milk. Real milk that's naturally easy to digest. Love milk again. The reason people are so intolerant to dairy isn't because of the A1 versus A2 protein, it's what the animal is being fed and pumped full of in combination with the pasteurization and homogenization, both of which degrade natural enzymes, reduce nutrients, making the product harder to digest, as well as less beneficial to the body. And people taste Kerrygold butter, they never go back to eating the standard American crap. That is taken a step further when people actually go to a local farm and have grass-fed raw dairy. But even local supermarkets have high-quality raw cheeses that are miles away from craft cheddar. It's not that raw dairy is unapproachable, people are lazy and cheap. This brings us to the big issue with Americans. They want cheap, fast, and easy. It's why the corn wars have been so successful in shoving feedlot beef down people's throats. These people don't want to know the science. They don't want to be healthy. They want to be sheeple and have someone tell them that their cheap and easy lifestyle is okay. It's perfectly fine. I feel great! Woo-wee! But raw milk has been demonized to some degree. Just like raw meat, quality animal foods in general are being demonized by big American producers. They tell you raw milk is dangerous, so you buy their ultra-heated poison. They say pregnant women shouldn't eat sushi, so your baby is as low IQ as everyone else. They tell you that grass-fed beef tastes bad or gamey, so you stuff yourself with estrogenic feedlot corn-fed beef. If everyone was drinking grass-fed raw milk, a lot of people would be going out of business. And those people currently run America. So that isn't going to happen anytime soon. Raw milk will give you all of the nutrients your body needs. And as a result of that, you won't be going to the doctor, taking medications, and most importantly, you won't be stuffing your face on a standard American diet, or perhaps a vegan diet, perhaps even a carnivore diet. Now, uh, big agriculture has turned animal foods into slave foods, so it's not exclusive to these dairy products, grains, anything. Slaves in the past ate grain, gruel, slop. Slaves of the present eat animal foods devoid of nutrients due to what we are feeding those animals. But there is a glimmer of hope. H.R. 5410, Interstate Milk Freedom Act of 2019. This bill prohibits federal regulation of the interstate traffic of unpasteurized milk or milk products packaged for direct human consumption under specified circumstances. To prohibit federal interference with the interstate traffic of unpasteurized milk and milk products that are packaged for direct human consumption. One pathetic aspect of this is that your hard-earned tax dollars are spent on these federal clowns literally busting down the doors of family farms that are selling raw dairy. They are preventing other hardworking American families from nourishing themselves and their children with quality nutrition under the guise of raw milk is dangerous. Americans thinking they have freedom is the most comical thing there is. You can't even choose what to eat. Now, if this bill passes, it will revolutionize farms that are selling raw dairy products and perhaps even sprouting some new ones, making interstate commerce easier, overall improving the quality of the American people. If you want to support this, you can call your House representative and two state senators. These can be found with a quick Google search for state senators, you know, Google New York State Senator, for instance, and for the House of Representatives, you want to Google your county. So Bronx House Representative and their contact number or email will be easily available. This is a battle against many things. The soy, almond, and oat milks that are full of chemicals and devoid of nutrition, which are far unhealthier than even regular cow's milk, although the downsides are different. The commercial farms that have been ruling the dairy industry for years and years, these people don't want you to be healthy either because it means less money for them. And this is just one step of many in taking back control of our food supply. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, 
above all guys please share the video if you can if you guys want to support me further definitely check out frankie's free range meat we do have high quality raw cheeses at an affordable price you can go to frankie's naturals for minimal ingredients minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products and you can go to frank-stefano.com for one-on-one -on -one health consultations as well as a free carnivore diet meal plan if you sign up for the newsletter thanks again for joining me guys enjoy the rest of your monday